little bit of 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the 20th of May. And I see my mirror is going to need some adjusting. <laughs> Uh, we're off on our ride. It's actually this is the first uh, this is the first time I'm vlogging today. We're gonna have a long wait here. Approach and not just simply assume. So I'm saying is there's another car coming to the left. We're clear on the right. Well, they've extended the CBD to lockdown for June. Basically, they, given that the infection rate is so low, it's basically about 1.1%. And that other things are more infectious, more dangerous in terms of the health safety. One can anticipate being locked down forever, that this is not going to end. However, so this, well, let's place this in, the, in a context that we we're in the context of a totalitarian regime that is locking everything down. And that uh, we will have to somehow work to live within the regime such as it is. Now, given the number of people who are dying from a number of different things, which are basically be described as neglect or negligence, this would be criminal negligence, one can make the comparison quite easily. the 1930s and 1940s when we had the, the regimes of Hitler. So we are not in a good situation, but currently it's manageable. So we're not in a good situation, but we're in a manageable situation currently. The question is, and this would be an answer, a question sort of in many ways for the good people of Germany who were at the time followed the instructions of Hitler, their dear leader, and executed six million Jews. Now let's not quibble over the number here because in all of World War II, the death toll was close to 200 million people. And in the calculus of warfare, the 200 million people, the 6 million Jews who died, although tragic, comes within the calculus of warfare. In other words, you don't have something that is outside what we call the norm. But this does not make, this not, does not lessen the tragedy. And here, and this is sort of the condition of the world we're still, with, we're still in, is that it's not an issue of how many Jews died. Let's say there were no Jews who died in the war, or they were not specifically targeted terms of propaganda and so on and so forth. Would that lessen the tragedy of 200 million people dead? No.
we understand tragedy when human beings or even other animals die needlessly. A significant chunk, chunk of our humanity exists in our compassion for others. Even if they're not of our own, including spe our own species. We do not walk, we do not walk around, we do not go out and just kill aimlessly for no particular reason. This is not, this is not humanity. This is not humane. It is never considered to be humane. Yet, in warfare, in the times of warfare, we come up with an excuse to say, okay, we are going to behave inhumane, and people who die, well, that's just simply too bad, that's part of the cost. In other words, they become part of a calculus that shouldn't really exist, but yet it does. And so if you're going to move towards what we call a civilized world, then one needs to consider the nature of warfare and the, and the means of reducing the level of violence, the level of inhumanity within the world. Without that, we will not have any means or ability determine whether or not we are humane. In other words, in the calculus of humanity, we ourselves become inhumane. Buses in traffic. <laughs> Our conversation interrupts as uh, we are riding with buses. I am now more used to them, they are more used to me, and uh, the courtesy of such is uh, ever present. Ever present. See if we can time the acceleration right. There we go. There's a garbage truck ahead. Through. Intersections always require an element of caution. So that all who are in the intersection using it are aware of what the conditions are as they approach. So let's get our uh, speed adjusted appropriately so we can take the corner. We are in a condition of inhumanity. Those who are behaving inhumane consider themselves to be humane and ignore the realities that are before them. It will not, as most intellectuals, will not accept any views or expressions outside of their own because they consider themselves to be proper, they consider themselves to be correct, and everybody else to be wrong. And if you dare contradict them or embarrass them, well...
there will be wrath brought upon you. As I said, these older movies, particularly depicting, which are very good in terms of depicting the uh, Behavior, you know, with the actors uh, within these situations is quite excellent because you can watch how these behaviors sort of interact and sort of even carry forward to the modern day. And this is why the title Sense of Sensibilities really does uh, carry through from the time in the 1800s when it was written. Uh, all the way to the, uh, the current time. In other words, one can see an era everlasting in this sort of uh, mannerism in terms of how we present this. situated than we were last night, but in terms of the overall feel, slightly worse for wear. So it's still the 20th, on the way home. Uh, it's about uh, 22 hours into the day. It was extremely hot and more, more important than humid during the day. Now it's cooled off. Of making more adjustments for a summer ride as the warmer weather continues on in. to wear my gloves but at this point it's no matter I'll get used to the ride without the gloves is definitely getting the better of me.
those who have a degree of importance, like Lionel Braun, never fully grasp or understand the gravity of the situation that he's around. And so what happens, you'll find the state that the particular topic or issue bores them, and they move on to another. And the thing is, is that there is also the concern that it's about talking about an issue too much uh, shouldn't be so. And this can talk about the like CBD, of which the pandemic is surrounding. Now, from the, from the term pandemic, you can get the definition of CBD. Um, the nomenclatures that are used by scientists such as myself vary. It depends on what you want to say, how you want to say it. Uh, in terms of the CBD, there is such restrictions. Around the CBD. And discussion of it. that the preference in terms of its discussion uh, is best used in other terms or nomenclature. This is why I use the term CBD. We are in an era of, well, fascism, along the lines of the Nazis, where certain groups are deemed to be unworthy, not human, and therefore, appropriately, attacked and maligned, and even in certain cases, marked for death or eliminated. And I call into mind again the Holocaust. A term of not my, of not my own choosing, but a common term nonetheless. And this comes into mind after watching the, the, uh, another episode of Barchester Chronicles. And look at, and sort of paying attention to the mannerisms which people spoke and didn't speak, because there could be as much said by not speaking as there is in being as as in speaking. Let's put my gloves on quickly. I've got 15 seconds to do so. Five seconds. Uh, I just made it. Light is shifting. And such is my cue. After riding with the gloves for so long, I feel more comfortable and more confident in riding with the gloves than without. But as stated, the Holocaust didn't occur until the end of the era. It was the last result. The selection for death, the euthanasia, of which this group that is current was present for a long time. As a matter of fact, you can find the argument, the beginning of the roots of the arguments, back in the 1800s. This is, it's in the Barchester Chronicles.
there have always been categorizations of people. And there have always been those who have felt that those who are less fortunate should not live. That the fortune that they have, the life that they have, is one that is divinely given, that we are, have, we are in God's plan in many cases. Or in the case of the, ter of, of the reformers who dismiss God altogether, state that they are not properly human. In other words, they form some form of, some type of human uh, figurine, subhuman figurine, sort of a, an anthropomorph, if you will. An animal that has a, a human-like behavior, but is not fully or entirely human. There are genetic defects. And these genetic defects, these mutations, need to be weeded out of society in order for society, in order for the human being to properly evolve. So they talk about the evolution of the human being, the evolution of the species. Yet their understanding of this is extremely, well, minute. And there is an enormous amount that is not understood. But yet, the intellectual, like Lionel LeBron, will never consider this. And you, you'll see this. You'll see the attitude. You'll see the perspective. And so they become, a, even though they pretend to be the solution, they're in many ways as much the problem as others are. They just don't see themselves as such. I've been able to see by the flashing light that we're still recording. Sometimes, because I forgot, to, I forgot to recharge the camera as I was at my parents' place. That's why I usually do that. I sort of didn't take the initiative. Well, I did, but I forgot to put it on the charger. And so, but the camera's still flashing. It's still going, which means that we're still recording. And the thing is, is that the cease in discussion sometimes, or the silence on a particular topic, is not because the issue is boring, but because, well, one, other people may not be listening, they don't understand, and so there's nothing to say. Or they choose to ignore the situation that is there. They have, they should have the capacity, you think they should have the capacity to see what's going on. To see the numbers, the numbers that are being put forward. This whole situation with CBD is not a dire one. The morbidity rate, the entire morbidity rate from, nine, from 2019 to current. And this is put out, this is put out by Toronto is 0.1 percent. You consider that we're, over, we're within two years of that. Uh, you take half of that as the yearly rate and you get 0.05 percent in terms of the morbidity rate. This is not a, a, a concern. As a matter of fact, the overdose rate, the overdose uh, uh, rate is significantly higher than than is CBD, and this is the same thing true for flu. We'll go back and look at the numbers for flu and so on and so forth. We we'll see the same thing, higher than CBD. So why the draconian why the draconian measures? Because they're fascists.